Um, hello, so today we are going to continue on problems from weekly contest 339. Um, the second problem is convert array into a 2D array with conditions. So this array says we have an array of numbers and we want to create a 2D array from these numbers with, the, with these conditions. So the first condition is that the 2D array should contain only elements from the array that we get as input. The second condition is that each row in the two-dimension array that we'll return should have only distinct integers, so no duplicates. And then the number of rows, we want to minimize the number of rows in the 2D um, array that we'll return. Um, and it doesn't have to be a unique answer. If there are multiple answers, we can just return one of them. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if we take a look at this array, to, to get a 2D that has the same condition, we can take 1, 3, 4. We can't take this one here because then we'll have duplicates violating the second condition. And so we can skip that one and take 2. So this would be 1, 3, 4, 2. We can't take this 3 and 1 because that will violate the distinct integer condition. And so in the next row, we'll take this 1 and this 3. We can't take this 1 because then we'll violate again the distinct integer condition. And so we'll leave the, the last one in the last row. And this is the minimum number of rows, which is three, that we can make with these conditions. Um, and so we return it. So that's the idea. Now, now, how do we tackle it? You can see here is the number of elements is just 200. So we can do a brute force solution. Um, but yeah, let's see how we can solve it. Um, okay, so how do we handle this? So you can... You can notice something we did here is that the conditions are first that row should have distinct integers um, and then we want to minimize the number of rows and then the other one is that we should use only these elements okay and so what this means basically is that we should keep taking as long as it it's not a duplicate right so take um, so take in current row as long as it's not duplicate. Okay. Um, and so one observation actually we can make if we take the number of occurrences of the, if we convert these into occurrences of each numbers, because the the main condition that dictates how we uh, put these rows together is the they are not duplicates. There are not duplicates in a row, so let's just experiment with that. So let's have an occurrence map where each element we put how much many times it occurred. So one occurred three times, three occurred two times, and then four once, um, and then two just once as well. Okay, so already looking at this, this three here, the highest number of occurrences, we can tell that we need three rows. We don't need more, we don't need less. Why we don't need less? Why we need, why why it's not less? Because if it's less, that means one row we need to have two at least two ones, right? If it's if we just use two rows to put these three ones in two rows, um, we would have to put two ones in one row, right? So that's a contradiction right there, so it can be less because then we, we won't have distinct integers. So that's the, the arguments for not less. Now what about not having four rows? Well, if we, we don't need four rows because we can distribute these into only three rows, right? Because the fourth row won't, won't have a one because we'll put one in the three other rows. And then since the other occurrences are smaller than three, that means all the rows won't have three, right? And so by definition, that means we could optimize and just because we won't violate the distinct integers rule, we can just optimize and use less than three, less than four, right? Less, uh, we can up get get to three, right? Um, and so and so that tells us basically that the number of rows we need is actually just the the highest number of occurrences in the map. Um, so let's say if we use four rows here. Um, well, if we use four rows, then in three rows we'll put one, in two rows we'll put two, 
in one row we c- will put four and then in the other row we'll, let's say or in the same row we'll put um, sorry this meant th- I meant by this three and in this two and now in the fourth row we have no numbers to put because we we, we already distributed the numbers and so we actually it would be empty so we can just use three and that would be smaller so that's why we only need we only need the number of rows here okay um, okay so now how do we now with this map how do we distribute and actually create the rows well it's just what I did right so basically for each number we can take the the occurrences and just go for I so we'll just have a result array that has indices 0 to 2 because 3 means th we need three rows and so the index indexing is going to be 0 1 2 so in our res array we'll have index 0 we'll have the array for index 0 and then another array for index 1 and another array for index 2 and so we'll just go through the numbers and the occurrences so we'll get um, the number and then the count in that occurrence array and we'll just put the number in each one and so we'll just basically do for i in count right in the range of counts and so for example for one it would be from zero to two um, and so we'll just pick the index so f for the first one we'll put it in res zero and so and then for the second one we'll put it in res one for the third one we'll put it in res uh, two right that just to avoid having if we do anything other than this then we'll end up with two ones in the same row so basically we'll do res i we'll append the number and then we'll go to the next one which is three and so we'll put the first one here the second one here and we are done we'll go here it's just one so we'll put it in the first one and then here it's just one we'll put it here in the first one as well so two and we are done right so pretty straightforward application here um, and we'll return this final array um, and this should be the, the most optimal ones because any other thing we do will and that is smaller will end up with one um, one in this two ones in the same row um, yeah and that's pretty much the idea here now let's implement it and make sure it passes um, okay so let's implement this so the first thing we need is the occurrences or the you can use a hash map if you want which is just going to count the number of occurrences of each number and now we need we, we we know the number of rows is going to be the highest count of occurrences and so how do we get the highest count well, we can just take the maximum so the values would be the count of each number that's the values of the counter so we can just take the max of that and this is the number of rows so we can just change this to be the number of rows and now we can create our list of of rows we need so this is going to be in the range of number of rows and now we can go through the occurrences here so each one is the number in the count and for each number we want to put each count each so if it's three we want to put each one in a separate row so this is going to be the range of this count and to put each one in a separate row, we'll put the first one in the first row, uh, in the row index zero, the second one in row index one, yeah, all the way to the uh, till we place all of them, right? And so that's what we do here. It's going to add the number, and then at the end we can just return the result. And that's pretty much it, right? Pretty straightforward here. So if we run it, we can submit, and this passes correctly. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this problem. Uh, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one.